What was the most horrific game of truth or dare you've ever played? I got dared to answer the door and pay for the pizza we ordered completely naked. Whatever. Easy. Right? The doorbell rings. I strip down quickly. And I grab the cash to pay for the pizza. But the pizza guy was not waiting at the door. It was the mom of one of the girls at the party. She had come to pick her up early. Only to find me at the door naked. Her husband was a church minister. The party ended pretty quickly when she called all the other parents were called to pick up their kids. Good times. The only time I had ever played truth or dare was at a camping trip in year 6, 5th grade. One night. I was invited over to the popular tent where all of the popular boys and girls were playing a game of truth or dare. After about 10 minutes of watching people make out and. The boy who invited me dared a girl, whom I had a crush on to kiss me. She ran out of the tent. Screaming. Whilst everybody laughed. I silently excused myself and cried myself to sleep. When I was in 6th grade. I was dared to let these 3 girls tiny spread eagle to the bed, clothed, and do anything they wanted for 10 minutes. I thought they would do something SI. Instead they spent 10 minutes dropping different objects onto my nuts. From varying heights. One girl dropped a heavy tape dispenser on me. Which made me cry. Usually you have to pay extra for that. Haha oh man. Other guys dared my gf at the time to blow me. Couldn't get it up. Never happened before. Never since. Probably didn't get up because a bunch of dudes were watching. Playing truth or dare. Or your wife blowing you. I was right at the beginning of middle school. We were starting to play truth or dare at birthday parties. We were playing a variation that I think in the US is called, X, Minutes in Heaven. Anyways I think it was my turn for the heaven thing. I was Suru rooting for the beautiful girl I had a crush with. Instead it gets to a really weird looking girl I wasn't attracted to at all. In my head I'm really let down. This girl wasn't attractive at all. Suddenly the girl starts bawling and runs out screaming something along the lines of not with him. Full stop. Yeah. Edit. Damn. I didn't think I'd get this many upvotes. This was back around 93-94 so it's been a long time. Three cups. One with water. One with toilet water. One with pee water. Blindfold. Pick a cup. In reality. Blindfold. I never really had a horrible game of truth or dare but one time in the 8th grade my friend dared a friend of mine to give me a lap dance and as it was happening I quietly whispered in her ear that's what daddy likes and she got off and ran. We always did a pair of dares. I to had get sprayed by this mace that is used in correctional facilities. Almost looked like a fire extinguisher. Or call my friend's mom and ask her on the date. I chose the mace. Primarily because I thought she'd accept. So you'd rather take mace to the face than an evening out and high probability of M. I. L. F. S. X. You got some weird kinks. Son. The day we updated truth or dare into dare or get the out. When I was 13. A girl dared my older brother to show his butt. He pulled down his pants. Bent over. And gaped his asshole. That's how he understood mooning. At the other end of the spectrum. A couple weeks ago. I was stopped at an intersection. And noticed an SUV in the other lane full of probably 19-ish year olds. A guy in the back seat stuck his ass out the window at us while the driver shouted to us. He's mooning you. I was shocked and appalled. That the guy's pants were still up. They thought that was a mooning. All I could see was corduroy bulging out the window. Damn ignorant kids these days can't even properly moon someone. WTF. Goats. I was dared to climb a friend's apartment balcony in nothing but boxers and sneakers. I executed this task with top Spider-Man like efficiency until another inebriated friend stepped out and began to off of the balcony not knowing I was just below. Needless to say. Anti-instincts kicked in and I dropped two stories down into the parking lot. 
My profanities were heard echoing for miles around that night. Ha. Huh. All the Ezul answers. I once dared a friend of mine to lick a jellyfish. She did. It stung. Did you pee on it afterwards? Whether did you get a jellyfish? Dared to eat a mystery spoonful. To this day. I have no idea how they fit so many disgusting things in one teaspoon. I once gave my buddy $5 to drink the most disgusting concoction in middle school. Something like. Mustard. Ketchup. Mayonnaise. Pickle juice. Horseradish. Olive juice. Minced garlic. Onion powder. Worcestershire sauce. A cricket or two. And some other various things I can't remember. He chugged the whole glass with ease. I dipped my finger in it and vomited. Kid was a champ. He also ate a huge hairy moth we found in my garage for $5. Edit. Well. This comment woofs dwarfs. Comma my others. And it's about me being a dick and helping my buddy get his daily protein. When I was 15. A girl I was trying to date invited my friend and me over to a house where she was babysitting. When we arrived. She was there with four of her girlfriends. Including her one extremely tie and rumored stee wielding friend. After drinking everything in the house she thought the parents wouldn't miss. We played truth or dare. Eventually. The girl I liked dared me to go have sx in the master bedroom with her. I passed and took truth. But my friend took the dare and went off with her. They came back out about 5 minutes later. And no one believed they had done anything. 9 months after that. Everybody believed them. 8 months later. She's walking around. 8 months pregnant and everyone's like. Haha. <laughs> She's faking being pregnant just so we believe that they really had sx at that party. Two friends who had dated in a group of 8 or so. The guy was trying to badger his ex with increasingly uncomfortable questions. What do you see in him? Why do you like an L? Why don't you love me anymore? That ang sucked. Bet he's a blast at parties. It was funny until the end. Then it was hilarious. Ed. In a pub. Dared a drunken friend to swim the canal by the pub. This is in Liverpool. UK. In the middle of winter. He stripped bollock naked. And did it. When he got out he had no discernible genitalia whatsoever. This was 20 plus years ago. And I can still see his white ass sticking out of the pretty eyeing rancid canal water. Once I was playing with three girls, including me, and three guys. We dared two of the guys to eat dried hot peppers without any water. Two turns later one of them got dared to go down on me. Worst. Experience. Of. My. Life. Shenanigans that started with me kissing a girl down there ended with my friend and his sister kissing each other back there. We were sober. No one talks about it 15 years later. Wait are you saying that your friend and his sister ate each other's asses out? Had to go to the bathroom and show my dick to a girl. Told her I wasn't doing it flaccid so she would make out with me. Well played sir. One girl had to poop in the bathtub. The next had to remove the poop with her hand and place it in the toilet. I don't even know. Definitely got weird, as it does when you're 13. For reason I would like to play this game again. I'm 30. I haven't played since I was 13. I beg to differ. Most of dating is an extended truth or dare game. Truth from me to my then girlfriend. Is there any fetish you really like but never told me? I love putting things in my ass. This was in front of 8 plus people. Two we barely knew. It was a good night. My first real party was when I was 11 or something. And I was really excited because everyone else was 16 or so. Anyway. We play truth or dare and it starts out fine. But escalates quickly. Someone gets a dare to motorboat some girl there. They're both fine with it. But mid motorboat. Her parents open the door to find a room full of teens watching a kid shoving his face in their daughter's breasts. Wasn't horrific. 4am. Two guys including myself and two girls. One of them was deaf. 
Clothes came off. Girls made out with each other. Get dared to bang the deaf girl. Banged the deaf girl. It was good but my god the moans. I will never forget those moans for as long as I live. They echo in my soul. Edit. Lots of people are asking if the moans were good or bad. The word I'd use to describe it would be frightening. But it didn't kill my boner. So that's good I guess. Dared to do a 7 minutes in heaven with this girl. Went into the closet. It was dark. Stuck my tongue in her ear. It's all fun and games until your best friend admits he wants to your mom. Decided to get drunk with my wife and another married couple. Started out as categories. Then escalated to truth or dare. Both me and him ended up with our asses shaved by each other's wife. Had our toenails painted. Our wives both were naked all night. And ultimately. 7 minutes in heaven with each other's wife. I spent so long blaming alcohol and having to tell my wife I regretted it. I enjoyed her friend. Edit. We are still great friends with that couple. I kissed a girl on a dare. And she literally gargled dish soap after it happened. If I wasn't gay already. That was the nail in the coffin. Gaytality. Not truth or dare. But a bad I never story. Playing after prom my junior year when I made the horrible choice of saying. I never cheated on anyone I was dating. One guy who was there with a friend drinks and then it gets to a girl who takes a drink who had been dating a friend of ours for years. We're all agape at this point when she turns to him and says. We should probably talk. I felt like the biggest asshole ever. Oh yeah. I also saw a guy smoke another dude's pubes out of a pipe. I was 12 or 13. I was at my step aunt's house. There were a lot of young adults around. And then my aunt. He asked truth or dare. I said truth. She asked me if I wanted to sleep with her. Edit zero. I actually said you. No. Or something like that. I was blunt and immediate with my response. Edit. She was in her 30s or 40s I'm guessing. Edit 2. I seriously didn't expect this much attention. And I never really told anyone that story before. Nothing happened. She was kinda gross. She was the only adult in the circle. And I was the oldest person in the circle. She was kind of entertaining the kids and teaching some how to play. Nobody in the game really understood what she was asking me. Edit 3. I also had a step aunt on the other side that asked me, at about the same age, how's your dick coming in? Do you want to put it to use? And that time I actually told my stepmom about it and she explained it away something about her having a miscarriage and not being all there. Comma. Ill bite. Did you? Never drunkenly decide that all dares must be influenced by randomly drawn cards against humanity white cards. I was playing truth or dare with a girl I liked on my trampoline when she dared me to eat a dandelion, one of the white nasty ones. That the wind hasn't blown away yet. A couple rounds later I dared her to kiss me. She said nope and made me come up with a new dare. I just ate a line dandelion hoping I would get a kiss playing this game. I was 24 when this happened. I thought you were 10 at the time until I read you were 25. Edit. Half my inbox is filled with variants of the same comment. We know. She was 10. You can stop saying it now. It wasn't truth or dare. But back in middle school. We were standing at the bus stop and a kid found a comb. And dared another kid to eat it. And he just straight up ate it right there. I don't even know how he did it. He just ate it. I have always wondered how it got out. If it got out. He made three dollars that day. Another kid. In high school. Was dared to eat three rocks. So he just ate them right there. And he didn't even get paid. He just did it for free. He did it for himself. Well. It ended up with my friend having sx with a girl while I was in the room. All I could do was find romantic music on YouTube and play it for them. Truth or dare with two girls. Four guys in a hot tub. One girl was dared to give all the guys a short lap dance. When she got to me. She stuck my dick inside her. I didn't stop her. 
but I'm pretty sure she put every guy inside her. The game ended when one of the guys dared a girl to stick a finger in his ass. It was rolling and some horse. It was a bad day. The only time that I have ever played truth or dare was with a group of hyper religious people. I was kinda indifferent but I started playing just to placate them. The wildest question that I heard before I quit from sheer boredom was how many times have you ever said the J word? I kid you not. And keep in mind that they are not 7 years old. They are all over the age of 18. Edit. Everybody is asking what the J word is. It is Jesus. Edit 2. Everybody is asking why saying Jesus is bad. Using it in prayer is okay. The thing that isn't okay is using it as a swear word. Edit 3. Also. I am Roman Catholic and the people that I was playing with were borderline crazy. OP just wants to hear SX dares. It's okay so do I. Got dared to rub icy hot on my balls. Passed out crying in the fetal position in the hallway. Not mine but someone I know who shall remain anonymous once sucked a boy's penis in year 4. 8-9 years old. Yep. Damn. When I was in year 4 the only thing I put in my mouth was sand. Back in high school we were at a party and the truth or dare we played turned s all rather quickly and one of the girls was dared to blow one of the jarks there. She agreed and they went to our bedroom to complete the dare. All of a sudden. We hear a scream and the girl comes out a few seconds later with blood all over her face. Turns out the girl had braces and somehow got caught on his junk. Tearing a dime sized piece of skin off his dick. One of the other jocks at the party got to hold his buddy's dick while the ambulance came so he wouldn't bleed out. Fun times. Edit. My highest rated comment is about a guy who lost part of his dick while getting head. Oh well. Other edit. To answer why he didn't grab his own dick. A erection pumps a lot of blood. He had a hole in a dick that is pumping blood everywhere. He passed out. However horrible this story is. I salute the guy that held the brass dick. That's a true friend. This girl was dared to give a guy I know a blowjob in front of other people. And that's how he got herpes. I dared a girl to make me a grilled cheese sandwich. But they had no bread. It was horrible. Open bracket. Edit. I'll still say this is my favorite dare to make. Mother. Grill me a cheese. Mail. Mini straw coffee starrer. Up the pee hole. The game ended. My screams have reached the Jupiter. In Berlin a friend of mine had to walk through a graveyard with his pants pulled down pretending to be a dog. The funniest part was when there was a couple sitting on a bench minding their own business. When suddenly this stoned guy walks up to them. Barks at them while having his pants pulled down. Went to a little well right next to them. Started drinking water like a dog. Then went back to them. Barked again and then just sat there for 2 minutes staring at them. Eventually he wanted to run away but fell over his own pants. I don't know how horrific this is. But I once made this kid tell us which of his younger sisters he'd rather bang. They were both present. 13 years old. Me. This one kid my age. And a few other peers all boys and one girl. The kid. Named John. Was dared to shove his finger up his asshole. This kid is pretty crazy and when he pulled it out there were poop chunks on it. My turn. I was dared to lick it. Robbie was dared to put his nose in Keith's butthole. I repeat, in his butthole. Robbie said no way. And Keith was dying laughing at the idea. But Robbie knew the rules going in. So we held Robbie down. Keith dropped his pants and tidy whities. Then squatted over Robbie. Who was trying to flail about. It took several of us to restrain him. Keith flapped his butt cheeks inches above Robbie's face and squawked like a chicken. This sent Robbie into convulsions and incoherent screaming. I'll never forget the sound as his screams were muffled. Keith spread his cheeks wide. Peeked down between his legs to aim. And sat. The horrified yelling combined with the flapping sound his mouth made against a sheiks. Keith pumped his fists in the air in triumph. We all let go and cheered. 
Robbie vomited all over Keith's balls. We didn't see Robbie for a while after that. I was. Essentially. Made into this girl's servant for the night. I had to fix her drinks. Get her food. And do whatever else she told me. She told me to do quite a few things. Go on. Till. I'm never letting my future children play with anyone. At a party a while back. We were all 16-17 and we're all getting drunk in my friend's barn conversion. Which is away from her parents house. We start playing spin the bottle. Tame stuff. And everyone starts losing interest. However. The girl whose party it was and my friend do not lose interest. And keep playing until they thought we'd all gone to sleep. They then proceeded to have the nastiest. Loudest and teeth bashing gropey. Horrible sx you can imagine. For hours. I don't even know how. But we were all awake and we could all hear. It was so loud you couldn't sleep. Their looks of shame in the morning though. Were probably worth it. The guy still gets for it a year on. Haha <laughs> you had sx with Agil. After he lost at a card game. I dared a very drunk man to on his hand in front of other drunk men. I don't know why. But it actually looked way worse than expected. Slightly hunched so his other hand could reach in front of the stream. Badly twitching from the awkward position. With everyone laughing at him. And him with this tie and pathetic and sincere smile on his face. It doesn't sound like much. But the image as a whole gives me the shivers. Got dared by a black dude with a fro to say what again. I was in my freshman year of high school and dating a girl I couldn't stand. She would call immediately after school got out and ask me what I was doing. There was nothing new to talk about after a 20 minute bus ride. But it was my first relationship and I didn't know how to break up. Anyway. At a party. We played truth or dare and I was asked how my first relationship was going. So I told the truth. It was going horribly. The room fell dead silent. Next. I was dared to kiss the prettiest girl in the room. I kissed my girlfriend's best friend. The silence was palpable. I didn't talk to any of my friends for a few weeks after that. It was terrible. Thankfully. We're all still friends all these years later. Love this movie. Well you see I should tell you I'm a female first. And that there is this tiny blue pill that are meant for men. Yay that was bad. Go on. Walter and I want to know. Am I the only one around here? Who lies in truth or dare? I will be watching this thread with. Interest. I have a Colt Walker revolver on my bookshelf. One night some folks came over. We had a few drinks. We started playing T or D. Someone dared me load a charge in the walker and play Russian roulette. Guess he figured I'd pass. He didn't know I was suicidal. I shot myself in the head and died. Kinda sucked. A group of my friends and I were beyond bored. So we decided to a game of truth or dare. Well not really truth or dare. More like silent library. Whatever. Same concept. So I drew a card midway through that read the person to your left will mix you a drink. You have to have a shot of it. I look to my left and sitting there is the most evil douche in my friend group. I say this lovingly. I stare at him and mumble oh. For good reason too. I end up drinking a shot of something containing more solids than liquids. It smelled like child abuse and genocide. After chugging this malt from hell. I threw up violently. Twice. I then later found out that my own brother ed in it. My own nine brother. At a party a girl was dead to suck my friend off. It was her first time and she didn't know that she could breathe through her nose so she sucked and a few seconds later came up coughing for air and went back down. Funniest thing to not only watch but to hear too.